Hello guys, do uh, you know it really strikes me when I do something on behalf of someone or I do something to someone or I do something for someone. I mean, just common things just such as opening the door, helping uh, carrying the groceries. Uh, uh, I mean, just basic, basic um, kind things. And people say, oh... Oh wow, such a gentleman. Uh, there is no many uh, like you. Oh, I wish we had more men like you. Oh wow, and they are surprised by the things used to be deemed as natural. I mean, common things such as opening the door to ladies, giving your seat away for elderly. I mean, simple things and it really strikes me and uh, I just want to comment I want to take I want to take uh, um, a few of your time uh, just to kind of try to understand what what these comments uh, are coming from and the reason why they exist because this is this is a common thing to hear to hear is wow I wish there should, there was more, you know, more like you. Come on, and, and this is this is particularly to men. I'm I'm speaking to men right now. You should be ashamed, and so ashamed that you would take a stand to eradicate such comments like that. Because we as men, we should be kind. And we really should take a position, take a stand as a man, and go back to the basics. Just go back to the basics. Be a man is to be kind, is to be responsible, is to be the brother's keeper, the sister keeper, the wife's keeper, everybody's keeper. Come on, you are a man. You are a man. So go back to the basics. Have manners. Be a man is to have manners. Have manners. Just keep the good manners. Come on. The way you learn those things. Okay. Your mom would slap you in the face if you would if you wouldn't give your seat to the elder. Or if you wouldn't open the door to your mother, to your sister, right? So keep what why why don't you project that on your life? Do that with your wife. Come on, be just be kind, man. Naturally kind. Open the door, carry the heavy stuff, uh, allow her to rest. Uh, do that for your sister, but that, uh, as well, do for your neighbor, do for your classmate. Do for everybody. Come on, make a point. I will do this for everybody. This is because this is the definition of man. Yeah, you're so nice. I uh, wish we had more people like you. Yeah, come on, just for basic things, such as opening the door, trying to help. I, I was coming out of, of of his office, and there was a lady. She should be on her probably uh, on her fifties, even if she was on her thirties, I don't care. But she was trying to put together a ten by ten tent, you know, a canopy tent, and she was struggling. And there was a bunch of young people around, and and and. and as soon as I came out of the building, I asked, oh, oh, lady, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to put this together? Can I, can I help you? May I help you? Because, you, you, you know, sometimes people don't like, so uh, a good thing would be to ask. And, and, and she was, like, embarrassed and, and at the same time surprised. And she said, oh, oh, oh no, 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 oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I can't do on my own. Of course, she was probably already upset. But there are just, you know, those are kind of small things, natural, uh, basic things that you you can do. You know, you can do. You know what? The Bible, actually, there is a Bible verse that really um, uh, helps me and inspires me all the time. And it is James uh, 4.17. Because the Bible says that if you know how to do good things and you don't do, you sin. 
You are sinning. When you know what to do, good things, and you don't know. And that's what we do. That's what we men kind of specifically do, right? All the time, because we know how to do. We know how to treat our wives. We know how to treat our, uh, our, our, our sisters, our, our mother, grandmother, and all just, let's say, all the females around us. Come on, we know how to be gentle. Aren't we anyway when we are when we are after something, when we are trying to impress our our, uh, our wife to be or our girlfriend or our our fiance? Do we do that? Come on! What about adopting that as a natural stuff? All right, come on! You are not man because of your muscle, because of your body, because of your money, the car that you, you drive. No, 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 no! Those are compliments. Come on, man! Be a man. Put your manners on. Put your kindness on. And then you'll be respected, man. You are not respected because your ability to spank your kids, to threat your wife. Don't be stupid, man. Be a man. Be kind. Be gentle. Be protective. Be a leader. Be a guider. Be someone... Your kids can love, your wife can care, and your family can trust, and the society can count on you. That's what a man is. So from now on, open that door, man. Don't be lazy. From now on, take care of those grocery, heavy grocery bags. From now on, be kind, be gentle. We are real men. A real men. And don't let people keep on with those comments. Oh, oh man, you are so gentleman. Wow, wish we had more men like that. Because, oh, you know what? There's no men like you. And, you know, where, where, where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah, I'm from this planet, man. I just keep my basics. I just remember the ABC of a man. All right? So do the same. And we're going to have better men. And we're going to have a better society. Because in reality, if you want to fix the society, you have to fix men first. Go back to the basics. Stop fighting wars. Stop messing with the country. With the co Hey! Just fix the men. And you'll be able to do it. Although I believe that only Jesus can fix you, man. Only Jesus can fix you. So if you don't know how to, it's because there is no other way. Because you just said, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. So go back to the basics and the basics is Jesus. He is the base of everything. Actually, the Bible says in John 15, verse 5, part B. Without me, woo, you are fool. You're stupid. You can't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing we can do without him. So start by going back to Jesus. Because a real man is the one who has, has the courage, the guts, to go back to the fountain. To go back to the principles. And it will fix you. And then you will fix your family. And then you will fix the society. All right? But it starts by going back to the basics. Basics. Go back to the basics. And you'll be a real man. Not when you got a good job, a good salary, six figures income, good car. No, 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 no. More than one woman. No. That's not what makes you a man. That's not what makes you a real man. That's what I'm concerned. What well, makes you a real man is to be a man of God. So go back to Jesus and stop being a fool. Stop wasting your time. Stop spanking your kids. Stop being real a jerk with your wife. Stop destroying your family. Don't go to the drugs, to the alcohol. Go to the source. The source of happiness is God. He's working for you.
He's working on your behavior. And he's ready to help you to be a man. All right? Peace, brother. God bless you.